Welcome back to my YouTube tutorials. This is ABM Graphics. Yes. On Photoshop, I just want you to learn anything and everything. Yes. So today I'm just here to guide you uh, on this particular uh, features of Photoshop and I think it's going to help you a lot. It's going to make your work work so fast and so you know and it is also just going to help you have the basic and professional knowledge when it comes to photoshop and in photoshop when in, in designing or in creating any kind of thing in photoshop so today, today i just want us to learn uh, the difference between grouping layers and converting a layer to a smart object how these two different things how are you going to communicate with that when you are using photoshop either cc or any kind of version that you are using so right now let's just go to our photoshop over here and you will see the any kind of thing that i'm going to do over here yes so for the tutorial sake i just want us to have something neat and is going to help a lot in this particular distance so first of all let's just create a background or a any document that we want to use and this particular document that we are going to use we are going to use the photoshop default size because we are not designing but i'm just going to show you something different yes so in the first place this is our document and the foot this document size is just the photoshop default size which is 7 by 5 inches and that is what we are going to use so however how do you know you are grouping and how do you know you are converting or how do you know the difference between smart object and a grouped layer and in this particular thing all the files that appears in this layer over here are called are all called layers even though this one is a background of white that one too is called a layer but how do you group it? right now let's just look at the grouping grouping is just bringing together the same elements in photoshop bringing them together in one folder or in one file as a one file so that you can remember or you can have a communication that there is what I am grouping and that is what it means to me we get that so first of all you may just decide to start designing start putting images start doing anything on Photoshop but you you you, you have to do what to communicate like you have to do it in such a way that anybody who picks your work will know that oh this person is professional and anything that uh, he or she is doing is right so you just need to have this particular in your head and anything that you are going to do will look professional your mood of designing will look beautiful and it will look neat your work will look neat and when you are grouping it helps you get some kind of design in your distance that look your composition will be nice your everything will be nice you get that and it's going to help you a lot so in this case i have just typed in a name called abdul rashid and this is one of my friend a classmate and a family member too you know a whole lot you know so this particular name is just a text that i put on so i put it on i can also import in an image and this particular image let me just try and get some image over here okay let me just use this particular image over here and this particular image too i have just import it in just like that let me just resize it down a bit okay yes and then i have this you get that so to make my work easier i'll group images at one side grouped text at one side you get that yes and to do that is very simple you it's you can find it everywhere in grouping i want to group images when you come and click on this particular distance that's grouped you get that 
means that create a new group you are creating a new group as a what as a layer and then when you right click on this particular thing to when you right click on that layer tool you can find the grouped grouped from layers you can also find the same thing over there and you can group it you get that so first of all i'll just click on this button over here and you see that it just named itself as grouped one but i want to call it images yes and that images all images will go into that and there is a grouped there is a grouped image and the name is called image and when i click on that i can find all images that is on the design you get that and then when i close it up all the images that are grouped in that image a, a group a group file or group layer will all what vanish it will all disappear and then over this particular this one too i can also group that one as what as text as what text distance over there let me just make it text okay and then i can have also this one too so all these are grouped layers all these are grouped i have grouped them into categorically me yes I, I, I have just grouped them in a such a way that anybody who picks my web will understand that when i go here i'll find this to edit when i go over here i'll find this to edit so it, it makes your work look so beautiful and it looks you know such in a way that it makes your work faster when you are designing or when you are want to make any correction through your work you get that yes so all this i have grouped them like just like that but all in my design you get that so this is how the grouping has been done and then let's come to what is the name let's come to smart object changing an image to a smart object first of all let's just look at the image over here you see this particular link over there is telling you that that particular thing is smart object terminal or oh, you get that yes this is smart object terminal even the way you bring your mouse over there you will see the name called smart object terminal yes so the smart object terminal means that when i click on it i can make correction to it but when you just pick an image and put it on your distance as i did and you right click on that it will open another folder by the same thing just like this okay right now let's just do something let me just draw something on this just like this you get that it means that i have just made a what changes to it right now let me close it by saving you see that it will save it will not it will never save into the original this thing over there it will save to here because that thing that particular image or that particular smart object i have just placed it by going file and what and place a link that is why it can never be do so when you have something image like this you, you import in your this thing and you see this and you just right click it it's not going to do there is not a smart object there is smart object but it doesn't photoshop doesn't recognize it because photoshop has not have any communication or it has not recorded anything through your distance so it will mind you so let's just off cancel that one so to have changes to this and all what we need to do is to right click on this one and rasterize the layer when you rasterize it just like that then you can now convert it again to a smart object so you just need to right click then convert the smart object over here just like this and when that thing is done you see that this the smart object right now changes it changes but it's still the same smart object so when i write when i double click on that i cannot make any changes to it without any problem yes and when i have this all what i need to do is to i can just go to file and then save you get that but not save as save when you do that save that's all it will update in your first distance you see it over there yes so it means that it has saved and this particular distance is only one you can't have it too but when you come 
to the smart object files here you have two files here so there is the difference between smart object and what and group layers right now let's do something let's use that a uh, text over here this is Abdul Rashid and I'll right click and convert it to smart object I convert it to smart object because I want anytime they ask me to change this Abdul Rashid I can still change it so I just have to uh, convert it to a what to a smart object so right now I want to make changes to the to this particular distance so I'll double click on the uh, smart object this thing and that is what it just appears for you right now I'm just going to change it to Abdul Rahim yes I'll change it to Abdul Rahim just like this you get that yes and changing it to Abdul Rahim to I'll make sure that I leave my size as 36 and then I'll make some changes to it by giving it a color uh, just like this and then I'll just go to file and then I'll save it and when I save my work automatically it will change over here to Abdul Rahim from Abdul Rashid to Abdul Rahim so that is how smart objects works in Photoshop when you are designing you get that yes you can download the file from you can download the PSD file from Google or from any resources uh, website and you have this particular this thing it's telling you that when you double click on it you can make changes to it and then you can do what you can save it back to the original design yes so this is the two different things in Photoshop that we normally use when we are doing what we are designing and it's always good and a good practice when you are doing this it helps your work very faster and it's going it's, it's it's lovely when you are doing when you are using this kind of approach you get that so you can make you can have a smart object here and you can group it to a text and images here you can add it there and it makes your work one two only two you get that but if you you always type you always put on things you always do put shapes and those stars you see that everything on this layer panel will be full you get that it will full so all what you need to do is to group it to different category you have to categorize it into different folders or into different grouped layers it makes your work very easy so that is how there is the difference between what is the name there's a difference between grouping and convert into a smart object and then there is another thing that I want to show you when you have something like this it means that anything that is there you can move them let me add this thing to it and then let me just activate it over there so it means that when you hold control you can move all the files there you can move all the files that the text contains you can move them just like this you get that you can move them by holding control and you can move them you can place them different and different way without any problem that is how it works another how another way of uh, moving these particular things and all of them will move is that you can select this layer and this particular layer and you link them when you right click then link layers when you link layers it means that you can also move you can also do what pick them and then you can move all of them together without any problem for instance you have this layer out and this particular layer to out then you right click on these two particular distance then you do what you link them and when you link them it tells you that you can move them how you want without any problem and you can have them only one no you can't do that so as we are moving it move it moves together you see that i'm not holding any control i'm not holding anything but i am i pick only this one but it cannot do this particular approach i use it on one particular graphic designer and you know he said the photoshop has spoiled he called me that i have spoiled his photoshop but it wasn't true it was just this approach i use for that because sometimes i test people understanding in photoshop when someone is you know 
uh, proven too much on me on Photoshop, I just decided to use a particular technique to see whether the person is good or not. So I used this particular link in, and the person get annoyed and the person told me, no, yeah. Abdurrahim, you have spoiled my Photoshop. My Photoshop is now moving all my designs and I can't even move one. It just gave it to me and left. Yes, but it wasn't like that. I just used this approach. So this kind of approach that I normally use and, you know, people who doesn't know have problem with me. Yes. So this is how, there is the difference between grouping and what? And converting image or any text or anything on Photoshop to a smart object and it looks so beautiful for you thank you very much for watching this is abm graphics please if you are already a subscriber thank you very much for coming back may god bless you and if you are new to this channel can you subscribe to my youtube channel and share my video like and ask questions and ask for more and more questions and i'm going to help you yes in in this particular channel have a nice day bye bye